So for some reason at work recently, there's only five of us who work up there, right? And only three of us have been consistently showing up. Now I mentioned my job a lot in videos, but I don't really like talk about what it's like to work there. So we're going to go in depth, in depth on what it's like to work in a room that's hot as fuck all the time. So there are five of us. There are two freshmen, including me, one sophomore, one junior, and one senior. Now the thing is, the only people who are ever consistently there are me, Lance, and the sophomore. The other freshman, she's kind of just never there. And then the other senior, he has been there recently. He actually got in trouble recently because uh, he's been putting in fake hours on his timesheet. Because what we usually do there is like, you know, sometimes we'll put like an extra hour on the timesheet because like, it's not that big of a deal. Th throw an extra hour in there. It's just an extra $7.50, right? This guy on there, they had, no, <laughs> he goes way over board like he'll put like up to three or four extra hours that he didn't work and then he'll come in and put hours on his timesheet that he didn't actually work and he's been doing this for a while and me and lance just kind of didn't say anything because like cares i'm not a snitch i mean he'd, he'd get caught anyway and he did get caught my, my boss he got mad at him threw away his timesheet and just let him off the hook with it and you know things went back to normal but that's what i thought he got caught doing it again so after he got caught the first time he kept doing it my boss told me that he used to be a super reliable guy and now he's kind of not because he hasn't been showing up at a lot of things like he's supposed to be at Flavin and he wasn't there and I was just like dang I mean I still like the guy I just don't agree with the things he does I, I don't think I'm ever gonna have a boss as good as the boss that I have right now he's just such a down-to-earth great guy and most people don't know who he is and I'm not gonna say his name because you know that's can't do that but he works at the school and he doesn't really do anything specific he's kind of just the all-around guy and he does a lot of things with like he'll fix things when there's problems in the school he'll also be like kind of like a social guy with the students like when students are having problems he'll talk to them and it's not like it's not like when students are being bad he's like the guy that principal's like hey go talk to him he's like he does it of his own free will which is why it's more genuine because a lot of times when kids get in trouble or they're delinquent and the principal sends like a counselor to talk to them they're reluctant to listen to the counselor because the counselor's just doing it because it's their job my boss he does it out of the goodness of his heart i think he's just a good guy i can sit around and talk to him for hours because he just tells me things that's happened and it's just it's really interesting he's just a super down-to-earth guy i can always ask him for advice he's super laid back and it's just fun to be around. And I wouldn't have this job if it wasn't for Lance. I'm very appreciative to have this job. Because a lot of people didn't even know this was a thing that you can do. Because you can only get in on your freshman year. The day that I'm recording this, it's um, Tuesday. And uh, there are choir concerts. There's a choir rehearsal on Sunday. And it's two choir concerts Monday and Tuesday, right? And I was at the choir concert yesterday. And I was in the sound room. And my friend Vincent was up there. And, you know, I was just kind of leaning out. Like, I got up on the, the table. The little table thing. I don't really know how to explain it. But there's like a little... It's kind of like a big desk with the soundboard on it. it. It holds weight. So you can sit on it, right? And I was sitting up in there. There, and I was just leaning over the like the little window out into the crowd and I was just looking at the crowd and I'm just showing her right I look to my left There's this big ass fucking spider just dangling there. It scared the fuck out of me, dude I jumped I jumped so far back. I flew out of the room I flew out like all the way out of the room. It scared me. I'm scared of spiders I'm scared of pretty much everything but this spider was huge All right, this spider was ginormous and it was just it was just chilling there right next to my head like that's so unnerving I, You can't expect me not to get scared. It was just chilling there next to my head So after that I got super paranoid about it because my boss and Vincent, they were trying to kill it. And then it kind of jumped off the window into the crowd. So we didn't know where it went. So there's a possible chance that it landed on someone's head or was just somewhere in the crowd and nobody saw it, which is kind of terrifying because we couldn't just throw it out the window because that's where all the people are. And I was really scared. And I don't know if people could see me, but if you're watching this video and you were in the choir concert, I if you saw me jump back a few times away from the window, that's why. Because after that, my boss and Vincent decided to mess with me. And Vincent goes, hey, look, there's the spider. And I, I jumped back like off. I leaped, leapfrog. Okay, I don't fuck with spiders. Yeah, right now, at work i'm not really doing too much like i work right now all i really do is i'll go up to the catwalk with lance and i'll just work the sound the sound board the first time i went up in the catwalk and if you don't know what the catwalk is it's like where the where, it's where all the lights are like in the auditorium if you're in an auditorium and they have like the little lights up there that'll shine on the stage it's up there and the first time i went up there it was so scary like it was terrifying i was like shaking up there and it's kind of funny i can kind of just go up there now without second thought without, without a second thought usually we have to go up there to move lights and focus them so that it's like blends and then on sunday uh a bunch of the lights burned out so we had to we had to take the lights out we had to unscrew them and take the, the thing that holds light out of the the spotlight and we had to put new ones in we got a new one in this in this one socket and we put it back in to the spotlight and it burned out right in front of us it was it was actually really cool like it was so fast it was just white light and i thought it i didn't know that it burned out at first but i was like wait but those spotlights are really hot like you have to be careful when you touch them lance burns his hand all the time and when i do it i just kind of tap it i kind of just tap it or pull on the wire because you know i'm not trying to burn my hand yeah i used to be super scared of falling out of there but i knew this the first time i went up there i knew that i wasn't always gonna be scared to go up there it's just one of those things where you had to do it enough time where you get like this security where you're not going to fall if you step anywhere off the catwalk you're probably going to fall to the ceiling which isn't a very secure thought but it, it goes away after a while i'm also very tired and i just kind of want to go to bed right now but i got work but i gotta go back i gotta run it back tonight i'm gonna go get some food
I forced myself to make this video before I ate, so it'd be more like satisfying to eat my food when I was done. Good night. I don't need a clean version cause the shit is clean already. I just flew down to Atlanta just so I could get some fatty. And so I could see my Jewish bitch, she's bad, her name is Betty. And I like to keep around cause she make that mean spaghetti. That's that mean shit, that clean shit. I'll pull up on your seamstress. I'm